what's working um, is the emergence of a new Ukraine. Um, and this new Ukraine is characterized by the, by the idealism, by the energy uh, of, in particular, young people, but, but more broadly, uh, civil society in Ukraine. Since the second Maidan, um, since two years ago, uh, this group of people, again, mostly young, becoming well organized, um, has invigorated the politics. It's invigorated the, the move toward reform, the, the demand for economic reform and political reform has not yet been satisfied. So what's not working yet um, is the implementation of the depth of reform that is, that is necessary. There are corrupt businessmen um, the, 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 that's holding back the economy. And this is despite this new Ukraine, this uh, strong civil society push um, for, for change. I would say the biggest thing that is working right now, that's having the most effect, oddly enough, are economic sanctions against the Russians. These sanctions, together with low oil prices, together with the counter sanctions that Mr. Putin has put on his own people, are having a real effect in Russia, having a real effect on the Russian economy, and that that is responsible for the, the relative backing off of the Russians in Donbas, the ceasefire while not being adhered to completely, um, the number of people, number of Ukrainian soldiers being killed every day is way down. If we continue them, we and the Europeans and the others continue these sanctions, I believe um, we will have a good chance um, of seeing Mr. Putin withdraw his troops and special forces and equipment um, out of Donbass. And I believe we should keep sanctions on until he pulls out of Crimea, uh, or at least resolves it to the satisfaction of the government in Kyiv.